Hey, John. Yes, Chris. Don't say it. Don't think it. 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 Don't even watch it. The Bye Bye Man is a film that we both saw. This is my buddy John Flickinger, a.k.a. The Flick Pick. He is checking out movies with me over the past few days. We're working on a collaboration that involves X-Men, if you can't tell. And uh, that's going to be coming up very soon. But we decided we'd go see this film because, obviously, it looks like a upcoming classic. Thanks for having me. I just wish it was a better movie we could talk about. <laughs> me too. I mean, this is the pinnacle of January releases of all time. For good reasoning. This movie belongs in January where movies go to die. Yeah, it really does. Uh... <laughs> this, this movie made me wish I was dead. It really did. Let's talk about the plot of The Bye Bye Man. Okay. Can you tell the fine people out there what The Bye Bye Man is about. Yes, uh, The Bye Bye Man, if you just watch the intro to this video, that is essentially the plot. Except along the way, there's a whole bunch of stupid teenagers that can't control themselves. They do uh, unlogical things throughout the entire movie and it progresses along. And uh, if you say Bye Bye Man, you, you die. Yeah, there's a weird, like, haunting spirit man of some kind with a, a big red CG dog. That looks like it's from 1997. Yeah. The the CG in Mortal Kombat was better than in this movie. Mortal Kombat Annihilation in particular. I would agree. Same caliber of filmmaking. Um, <laughs> and, and what is it with these movies? Why is it in every horror film nowadays, or even back to the 1990s, there's always a the plot device where you can't say something or do something. Yeah. In Darkness Falls, don't go into the darkness. Right. In Candyman. We, in Candyman, don't say Candyman seven times and look into a mirror. You will die. It's bullshit. It's it all is. bullshit. In, yeah. in the ring, don't watch this old VHS right. Vi right. video. It's it's just a bunch of uh, a bunch of like uh, those old urban legends. Yes. Like don't do this because bad shit will happen. You know, don't have premarital sex because you'll die from Michael Myers. <laughs> you know. It, oh, I thought you were gonna say AIDS. That. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so we have our hapless group of young people who, they, they get a new house and they stumble across a old nightstand that has writing in it. Don't say it, don't think it, don't say it, don't think it. And then for whatever reason, like on the underside of that is the words, the Bye Bye Man carved in there, even though you're not supposed to say it or think it. Somebody must have carved that shit in there. Yes. Because, you know, we wouldn't have a plot. So apparently this thing, you know, it exists in your head, you know, and if you let it manifest itself in you, you can, it, it'll it'll kill you. My biggest issue with the Bye Bye Man is that the entire concept surrounding the Bye Bye Man makes no sense. They never once explain, like, there's all this train imagery. Mm -hmm. What is this dog thing he has? Where does this thing come from? What is it? How did it come to be? Who created it? What happened to it? How is it able to touch people and read their minds? How does it jump from mind to mind? What is it? The film, without spoiling anything, it never goes into like what it actually is or how it came to be. It's a shallow entity, and it was a, a simple concept here, Chris. I think we can all agree. This movie originally was rated R. Right. And the studio, I think, accidentally did that when they were making the movie. Accidentally. I really do. And what they did is they said, no, no, no. we got to get as many teenagers in here to watch these, these horror films as we can. So they cut it down to PG-13 and they watered it down. As far as script and storytelling aspects go... Nah, they threw it right in the garbage. They yeah. didn't care. There's no backstory. There's no buildup. There's no suspense. There's so much like hilarious shit in this film that made me laugh. That like when <sighs> when of course whenever like a horror film, yes. whenever like somebody discovers a weird thing that's happening, there's like a research scene. You know where they go and they look for things. So so this kid, he he goes and and he goes to search. That's the website. It's called. Search. When you can't afford the rights to Google, yeah. you go to search. And he just starts type, bye bye man. Hmm, that didn't work. Um, don't say it, don't think it. Hmm, that one worked. And then there's like a librarian there that helps. And she's like, you know, back in the day, there was some weird shit in this town. And I, 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 I think some weird shit happened. And now weird shit's happening to you too. And then I think we both loved a scene with with that person later. Well, we'll talk about that in just one second. <laughs> but let's go. Let's just go back to that scene that you were talking about yeah. in the library. This movie takes place in modern day times. Right. This kid went to a library to research something. Hang on. Hang on. <laughs> hang on. If I want to do that, what I do is I get this thing. It's it's called a smartphone, and I just do it from right here. True. But he went to a library to to do this for some odd reason. And that librarian. 
what an oddball character forced into a, a mediocre script to help carry the story along. Absolutely. And giving, she had too much information on things that she shouldn't know about, and she gave all this exposition to carry the story along and the legend of the Bye Bye Man. But she did give us one of the best scenes in the film. I can't spoil it, even though I feel like we should. <laughs> 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 it's pretty amazing. It's it's great. It's towards the end, and uh, yeah, it, it 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 was it just it just happened. It was one of those things where it just happened, and the entire film, uh, like the scare factor level of this movie, the way they set up scare moments and stuff, it's all the basic shit you've seen a billion times. They hear a noise. They walk through a hallway. They look around. There's nothing there. There's a guy out of focus in the background. There's a weird thing in the corner. You know, there's a noise. There's a jump scare. I, I was surprised there was no animals that jumped out, like no raccoons or birds. That was like a plus, I well, guess. Well, they did give us a very terribly CGI dog that looked like it was made out of baloney. That's so true. We did get that. That's true. It really was awful. And, and uh, I mean, there's so many moments that just don't make sense. It, it feels like the entire film was shot and they had an okay concept. This, this thing that is like the cause of terrible events. They don't go into explaining how or why or who or what. But the concept is interesting. And then the studio probably just went in and was like, hey, we should have a shot where you're panning in on the wallpaper and a dog figure just appears and moves on the wallpaper and turns towards the audience. <laughs> like when that happened, some guy at the screening went, oh. And I'm like, what movies do you watch that that shocks you? Like what what level of, of movie watching are you at where, like, the wallpaper moving is, like, the, the height of the entertainment? Well, and I agree with what you're saying. And the other thing is, as far as that scene goes, it's a, it's a five-second scene. And I could understand if there was a character in that hallway and it happened. No, everyone's sleeping, and it just shows a shot of wallpaper <laughs> transforming into an animal. <laughs> Why would you even do it? Yeah. Why, why? Like, I feel like half the budget to this movie and its special effects went to that one scene. It's just for the audience. That's yeah. it. They're, everyone's just asleep, and here comes the wallpaper. <laughs> yeah, a, a creepy noise down the hallway would have been just as effective in that same scene. Apparently, the wallpaper is uh, Tim Allen from Home Improvement. <laughs> 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 Sorry. <laughs> um. Let's talk about the acting in this film. Uh, the main character is the same actor. I believe his name is Douglas Smith mm -hmm. from the film Ouija, another great horror film, the first Ouija. Yeah. Fantastic movie that I think we both loved. I feel like this movie makes Ouija uh, look better. It makes Ouija tolerable. It makes Ouija look like an attempt at a real movie. It really does. Yeah. And you know what's sad? There are two fairly well-known actresses that just show up in this movie that I didn't even know. And it's on IMDb. It's yeah. not a spoiler. Yeah, yeah. Carrie Ann Moss just randomly appears. To not even help carry the story along, no. just in a random scene. They needed a cop. Yeah, yeah. That's it. No. They needed a cop I'm character. surprised she actually did the movie. Me too. And in the, mo the biggest one yeah. uh, was uh, Faye Dunaway. Yeah. Is in a scene. Just one scene. Like, I guess she needed to put her granddaughter through college or something. Like, yeah. <laughs> here, what the fuck was that? We're here. Just, we'll get you a few hours out of the nursing home, Faye. Just come to the movie <laughs> oh my for God. a few minutes. But that's the problem with this movie. There are characters in this movie that are very shoehorned in to the script. Yeah. They don't need to be there. And when you have characters that are just wasted screen time, it really bogs down the movie. Like, the librarian. Didn't need to be in the movie. No. Faye, whatever her last name is. <laughs> nice lady, I'm sure. Yeah. Didn't need to be there. And Trinity from The Matrix did not need to be in this movie. No. No, they just needed, like, they needed the cop character because at some point people start dying. Yeah. And you can't have that in a movie without some sort of police investigation, I guess. All this movie had to do was present an interesting concept and a couple good scares and maybe just show it in a unique way. Sure. The concept of The Bye Bye Man is kind of cool. And that's it. I like the idea of the weird, this haunting guy who has a dog who shows up and makes you, makes people do crazy, insane things. But they don't take any time to explain what the motivation for this, this thing is. Why did, he, why is this person doing this to other people? Why is this thing, what happened with him? Why all the train imagery? They show the Cuyahoga Valley Scenic Railroad train so much. This mm -hmm. is, by the way, I found out going to the screening, this film was largely shot like near my house. Yeah. 
And uh, so I've been on that train. So every time they show, they show the train, I'm like, there's that train. Why does they why do they keep showing the train? What does it have to do with this story? You know, maybe a book will go into it one day. I mean... <laughs> the backstory. Yeah, the, the backstory. Apparently, it is. this is based on some book or some shit. I don't know. I think it's based on some true events, if that's even plausible. Uh, but, yeah, as far as the, the actual character of the Bye Bye Man goes, I like the, the character design. Yeah. And like you said, if he was flushed out, it might have made him more scary or terrifying. Mm -hmm. And I believe he was played by Doug Jones, who also played Abe in the oh, Hellboy movies. Oh, okay. And I think he's a really good uh, character actor. He has yeah. the movements. That's probably the best part of this movie. Yeah, but if only they would have made him scare people that weren't so annoying and stupid, <laughs> where you want to see them die. Yes. Yeah. I wanted everyone to die, especially the main character we, of the movie. We, yeah, let's get into this. The <laughs> acting in this movie is ass. It's horrible. I feel bad saying this because, like, I guess some of the cast and crew were actually at our sure. screening. It's not their fault. acting, it, well... They didn't write the script. That's true, they didn't yeah, write the script, yeah. but my God, it's bad. Like, the acting is so... Everyone's on this extremely heightened level of, like, intensity that is just so beyond what everyone... And, and then, like... Like, the whole thing is, like, their minds are getting fucked up, you know? Yeah. But then, but then like, it's just... It doesn't sell that strange dreamlike terror. It just feels maddening... The way it's edited together and cut together. Yeah, it doesn't feel like they're desperate. It feels like they're on cocaine. Yeah. It really does. Like, yeah. you take uh, classic horror films, like, from the 1980s. You had teenagers in Nightmare on Elm Street. And they felt desperate. They felt tired. They felt like something was after them. And you got a sense of, of urgency. And, they, and that's what I wanted from this movie. Everyone in this movie is just either idiotic or the main character felt like he was high on Red Bulls. Yeah, it really did. It, 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 he Like, most of the time, even before all the shit started happening, he had this look that was just kind of like... Like, it, squinty eyed and... He turned into Nicolas Cage at the end of the movie. He really like, did. There's one scene where he's in a car singing. What the fuck was that? It was just a random scene. He's just sitting there, I like music, I like to sing. It's like, it's, yeah. what do you, it's they like... Ha, they, they, it was like a joke. The song was that, bye bye love song from like the 50s yeah, yeah, or whatever. Yeah. And they just had it the, in there like a joke because the title's the Bye Bye Man. He's in the car like, Bye Bye Love, Bye Bye Happiness. And I'm like, what the fuck is happening? Dude, Red Bull, man, it's a hell of a drug. That was insanity. That was pure insanity. It, I, I looked over at you, right? I don't know if you saw me. Uh, you were sitting next to me. I, I saw, felt I looked you over look at you over like, me. I looked over at you like, what the fuck just happened? But then if that scene couldn't get any worse, you just wait a few more minutes <laughs> and sure enough, it does. Yes, yes. Spoilers. Yeah. <laughs> you guys, if you see this movie, don't. Uh, but if you do, yeah, that scene's pretty hilarious. It almost felt like they didn't know when to start and end a scene, especially in like the editing room floor. There's one random scene that's very nitpicky. I am sure a lot of people might not have even picked up on it, but there's a scene where his roommate's like, we're going to go outside and play baseball drunk. And then it shows a scene of the main character walking to his room by himself. He's like, jocks like to play baseball outside. And it's just like he does something random and then leaves the room. There's so many random scenes like that. It just They don't even make sense. They don't add up. And I, I, I just can't imagine any script writer actually writing that down and then someone looking at that and going, hmm. And then the director <laughs> saying, let's record that scene and put it into the movie. I know. There's so many scenes just like that that are there to set up something scary. For instance, when he's in the library, he looks at his phone and it says 1.40 p.m., I remember. And he goes, oh, cool, I have enough time. And then sets his phone down. And then, then there's like a time jump thing where he loses time and the bye-bye man makes him sit there forever or whatever. That entire sequence where he goes, oh, cool, I have enough time, was for us to know that some weird shit's about to happen. Just like you said with the baseball yeah. thing. He's like, oh, jocks like to play baseball. I'm going to go in my room alone. Yeah. And then there's weird scratches. Because he's by himself. This entire film, the way the, the scares are set up, the way the screenplay sets up these moments, it's so shitty. It's so poorly made. I feel bad because, like, this movie had a kind of interesting concept and it just had no idea what to do with it. The acting is awful. His best friend is terrible also in the film. The, the guy, I forget his name in the movie, his girlfriend awful she also looked like she was on drugs she looked like she was on suppressants she was that yes the way she yes, delivered, yeah, yeah. the way she delivered her line she's like i don't want to go out there and do that <laughs> 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 yeah i mean i get that her character is supposed to be sick throughout the whole movie which by the way apparently the bye bye man can make people he gives Ill. you a fever he gives you like some the bye bye yeah. fever i the guess bye -bye fever. here's what i wanted yeah. in this movie and this is where the movie would have been perfect for me. Okay. If whenever a character dies, this happens. We have to help them! No, no, it's a trick!
Wouldn't it have been great if they just played Bye 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 by NSYNC? <laughs> like, just yes. once. Just one time. Baby, bye, bye, bye. Just one time. Just give it to me. They gave me that Bye Bye Love song. How funny would that be if you fucking turned on the radio and it was like, bye, bye, bye. <laughs> I mean, my God, that was the biggest missed opportunity of all time. I can't wait till that movie comes out on Blu-ray and we can take that one scene and yeah. add, if, if you haven't seen the movie, just, and if you have, <laughs> imagine that scene with NSYNC playing in the background. Yes, it'd be great. It'd be great. So, uh, I don't know about you, but I'm, I'm going to give The Bye Bye Man an F. This movie just felt like a hodgepodge of other movies, but they took all the worst ideas from those movies and put it into this movie. And let's not forget, the premise of this movie is based around a nightstand. It <laughs> So based on that, and this being the worst movie of 2017, so far for so sure. So far, I'm going to I'm going to give Bye Bye a Man an F as well. Thanks for being in this video, John. Definitely check out the flick pick. Uh, go to the channel link in the description below. Give him a sub. He's worth it. He's a good, strong, cool man. Thanks, man. I makes, appreciate that. You make good videos, <laughs> guys. Thank you so much as always for watching. Definitely don't see this film. Have a good one. If you like this, you can click right here and get stuckmanized.